Bronx News, the man accused of beating a woman at a BP gas station in Arlington made his first court appearance today. Good evening to you. Kevin Williamson was arrested last night and charged with battery. We want to warn you, the video that you're about to see, it may be disturbing to you. This is inside the gas station at University Boulevard in Fort Caroline. You see a man repeatedly punching a woman, then walks away. The woman is 23-year-old Ramey McCoy, who says she heard Williamson using racist language before the attack. The police got a warrant for his arrest, and now he's being held on a $20,000 bond. News for Jack's reporter Marilyn Parker is at the BP gas station with what to expect next in the case. We've shown you this video from inside a BP gas station in Arlington. A man brutally beating a woman, then walking away. Saturday, he walked up to a judge in his first appearance. JSO got a warrant to arrest 59-year-old Kevin Williamson. He's charged with battery, a misdemeanor. The attack happened on Monday. Williamson was booked into the jail Friday night. I would request that maybe you could lower my bond to nothing. I can't do that today. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. I'm sorry. Asked Why did this take so long for an arrest? Attorney Randy Reap says it's a process, especially because police got a warrant. Sometimes in the law, I can do it quick or I can do it right, but sometimes I can't do both. I'm not apologizing for the four days it takes, but I would tell you that's not outrageous in my experience. Now that police confirm who they believe did this, we looked into who Williamson is. Court records show he's a registered sex offender. He had a repeat domestic violence injunction filed against him that was later dismissed. There were two aggravated assault charges. Both were dropped. One of them was with a deadly weapon. So now that there's been an arrest, some people are asking, where's the hate crime charge? McCoy says she heard Williamson making racist remarks outside this gas station and inside before the attack. JSO on the incident report wrote down that there was no hate crime. Attorney Randy Reap says the state attorney's office is going to decide to pursue that charge or not. Reap says they'll interview witnesses, and in two to three weeks, the state attorney's office will decide on the charges. He says not to be surprised that this case is bumped up to a felony. Now, when we spoke with McCoy earlier this week, she already said she wanted more than a battery charge and that she knew this is a hate crime. We reached out to her today for a follow-up, and we're waiting for a response. In Arlington, Marilyn Parker, Channel 4, the local station. Ten seconds. It was punch after punch after punch. I never thought I would be in, like, a situation like that, ever. Ramey McCoy could barely stand still when talking to us about this horrific moment. She gave us these pictures but didn't want her face shown because it's still swollen from the attack by this man at a BP gas station on University in Fort Caroline Monday. I walked into the gas station he came in after me and was just like ranting and raving about y'all's kind and y'all need to go back and all this other stuff. While she was buying gas at the counter she says the man was making racial remarks and was standing close to her so she asked for some space. And he kept, didn't back up. I told him like you know like I could just call my dad or whatever he was telling me like he had his gun in his car um so at that point i felt threatened and then he put his beers on the counter in front of my stuff and i slid them over and at that point that's when he started punching me in the face let's take the video frame by frame she's facing him his leg at the bottom of the screen you can see her arm move then he swings and punches her in the face i was literally shocked after the first hit you could see my mouth drop like when he first hit me i was just like Whoa, and then he kept hitting me. The man walks out, and the police report says he was in an orange 2012 Chevy Sonic. We tried speaking with the people at the gas station, but they didn't want to comment. We also called the other witnesses listed in the report, but we haven't heard back. All we have is this woman's account of what she calls a shocking attack. I want, like, real charges to be brought to him, not just something simple. Like, this is an actual hate crime based on everything he was saying, and it's happening all over it. Like to other people, and I just don't want it to happen to somebody else, like, in my neighborhood. And she says it starts by having him arrested. The Northside Coalition of Jacksonville is calling on city officials to address issues of... Welcome back to the Divested Zealot Response Channel, and this is yours truly, the Alpha Black Lion Roar. In today's video, we want to talk to you about yet another incident that has gone underneath the radar 
on the Divestor radar system. That's right. You saw the video for yourself. This is the assailant Kevin Troy Williamson, a registered sex offender, a predator that you seen in the video that we showed beating down the 23-year-old black female by the name of Ramey McCoy. And all of this went down in Jacksonville, Florida. That is right. And this is the same white zaddy that the divestors are telling you and I that they have black women in their best interests and that they will look out and protect black females. But as you see, Diarrhea Zealot and the rest of the divestment committee, they are silent on this latest case. And why? Because the man that you see is a white man. Let's run down his stats. He was, he was born on 11-9-1962, race white, sex male, eyes blue, height 6'1", and 215 pounds. That's right. And this man, as you saw in the video, was swinging relentlessly at the 23-year-old black female by the name of Ramey McCoy. It don't get any more vicious than that attack that you saw. Now, he did this in public. Imagine if him and her were not in public. You can guarantee your bottom dollar that he would have murdered that black female. And you know what? The divestors would not say a word about it. They would just give him a green pass the same way they gave the Buffalo mass shooter a green light and the same way they gave the murderer of Lauren Smith Phil a green light. And every other case of a white man doing something to a black female, they also gave them a green light. As a matter of fact, divestors have been taking a lot of L's in 2022 and 2021. It's been so many of these cases that I've forgotten half of the black women who were killed or either beaten up by white men. But women like animals like Diarrhea Zealot she won't say anything about it. You know why? Because it doesn't fit the narrative of her story, you know? And by the way, Diarrhea Zealot, she is a self-proclaimed bitch. That's right. She called her own self a bitch. And we have the video footage of it here on our channel. So for any other divestors who want to follow the words of a bitch, then go right ahead. Because in the manosphere, we don't call ourselves bitches and we don't expect anyone to subscribe to our channels because we don't want to lead anyone to subscribe to a bitch that Diarrhea Zealot has said on several, on several occasions that she is a bitch. Now let's run down why this story once again, why this case destroys everything that they are over there preaching in a non-existent divestment community. Now, point number one, they can't continue to preach that white men protect black women because as you see in this case and the many other cases, that is a lie. Point, point number two, they've been saying recently that black men are... The, the most sex offenders and child molesters and pedophiles. But as you see, this Kevin Troy Williamson is a registered sex offender. Point number three, they say that the uh, black man always played a victim. But as you see, the black woman in who was attacked in this video, she is the one who is wanting this to be this they want who wants this white man to be charged with a hate crime that's right but when you listen to diarrhea zealot she says that in blackistan they always play the victim and that in blackistan they don't need any type of special attention well Try to tell that to Ramey McCoy, Diarrhea Zealot. She is the one who is pushing that this man, this 
punk, this coward by the name of Kevin Troy Williamson be charged with a hate crime. You see, so anything they try to throw at us, this case can swat it right down. So we are swatting this right back at you, Diarrhea Zealot. And you know what? I can go ahead and tell you what she will say about this. She's going to do the same deflecting that she always does. Not to mention, if this was a case of a black man that was on that video that you've seen, Diarrhea Zealot, she would be licking her paws and that very night, she would do a live stream and she would be saying, see, you see, y'all better divest, you see? That's the exact thing that she would be doing. But with a case like this, I can go ahead and tell you what she will do. The only thing that she's going to say is, well, it still happens more black men uh, beat uh, more black women than white men. That'll be the first thing she'll say. The next thing she'll say, well, this is just a uh, powdered donut that's one of the terms she like to use whenever a white man do something but she don't drag the entire white male population because of the action of one white male so i can guarantee you that she will make nothing but excuse after excuse just like all of the other excuses we have seen so far this year so Right now, the divestment community is out of ammunition. It is a sinking boat, and they are trying their best to hold on. I guarantee you she's going to make excuses, and she probably won't even say anything about it. If she does say anything about it, she'll spend probably a minute or two on this case, and then she'll move on, and we'll show you cases of black men doing something to a black female that we don't deny. But what we say is that every race of man lays his hand on his female. But what they are over there preaching is that white men are saints and they can do no harm. But she has to address cases like this. And I'm just going to sit back and watch. And we are going to see if the divestment community are they going to support Ramey McCoy, the 23-year-old black female that was beat by this Mohammed behemoth of a white man? This man is 6'1", 215 pounds. He was punching that woman in the face to the point she was left with bruises on her face, a swollen eye, to the point they couldn't even show her on camera. So I want to see... If they're going to have that same hate and vitriol that they had towards Kevin Samuels, who never beat a black woman, who never killed a black woman. We're going to see if they're going to do that same smear campaign against Mr. Kevin Troy Williamson. We're going to sit back and we're going to watch and I'm going to have my popcorn out and I want to see you divestors have the same hate trip for Kevin Troy Williamson. I want to see you divestors invite Ramey McCoy to one of your platforms. I want to see you divestors get a petition going the same way you went at the mother of Beyonce over something that didn't injure not one single black female. But I want to see if you all going to have that same energy to get serious charges posed upon this Kevin Troy Williamson. We're going to see, since you say you care so much about black females, if you are going to back up and support Ramey McCoy to get this hate bill passed against, well, to get the charges le leveled up to a hate crime so Kevin Troy Williamson can do serious time because as it stands, it looks like this is going to go down as a misdemeanor. But with the help of you divestors, you can get his charges bumped up to the level of a felony. So we're going to see if they really mean all of that garbage they be saying, or is it all a hoax? And with that, this is the Alpha Black Male Lion signing out, once again exposing the hypocrisy of the non-existent 
die avatar movement like share and subscribe and this is the alpha black male lion signing out